Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would just like to say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Lisa Huff. I am a hairstylist that has been in the industry for over seven years, a studio suite owner in central Illinois, and I am here to be your go-to girl for all things hair. In today's video, we are talking about tools. I posted on Instagram asking what people wanted to see more of and I had a few stylists say I love seeing other stylist tools, which I get because I love seeing that too. Um, I am talking just styling tools today, so brushes, blow dryer, curling iron, flat iron, stuff like that. Um, so basically every single client, other than men, which I mostly do women, every single client that sits in my chair I use all of these tools for. I kind of go through a, you know, a system of blow drying and styling. So I guess not all of them. If they get curls, I don't use the flat iron and vice versa. But I would say these are must haves. Like if I was going out on my own, these would be the things I had to get right away. No non-negotiable. So first I have got a wet brush. This is a bath pack brush. I have done a video on bath pack before. Um, this is you typically how I start the service out. When they come in with dry hair, I usually brush through it before we head back to the shampoo bowl. Um, so this gets used on everybody. It is super duper gentle. And then once they get back from the shampoo bowl and their hair is wet, I will spray a little bit of some detangler or leave-in conditioner in and brush through with this. And then also when I start blow drying, I rough dry the hair a little bit in the beginning and then I brush with this a little bit before I then switch to the round brush. So if you're starting out and you need tools start with at least a brush like this either a wet brush which I have one of those too either a wet brush or this bath pack brush something like these um everybody who sits in my chair gets touched with a brush like this other than men like I said but these are must-haves. Next in brushes I have round brushes now I have a lot of different sizes of round brushes but this is like my tried and true number one best round brush. This is by The Wet Brush. This is the maybe two inch, two and a half inch um, round brush, but it, when I bought the package it said it is an extra long barrel. So this barrel that the hair goes on is extra long, which helps get more hair dry at once. Um, I do a lot of blowouts and this is typically, unless their hair is too short, this is just about what I use on everybody. If you do not have a round brush, if you're starting out and you need to know what tools to get, at least one big round brush and then maybe one a little bit smaller for those ladies with the shorter pixies that you kind of need to wrap a smaller brush around. But this is a non-negotiable and I am really, really pleased with this brush. I used to have a Cricut one and it was good, but it ended up breaking. I mean, I'm sure they all will. They get beat up. I use them constantly. But this wet brush one, I really, really like. It's like matte black. It matches, you know, my aesthetic and I really like it. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend this. Next, what everybody gets touched with as well, what gets used on everybody as well, is the blow dryer. I, a couple months ago, switched to a new blow dryer and I am obsessed with this little guy. So this is the Blowout Stylus. As you can see, it has no handle, so it is a really nifty contraption. It's definitely a conversation starter with my clients. They're like, what is that thing? Um, I am someone who has always held the blow dryer by the barrel, not by the handle. So if you are also a stylist like that, I think you would love this. It has some sort of protective um, material so it does not get hot on your hand. It is so lightweight. I didn't even realize how light it was until I went to blow dry my daughter's hair at home with a regular blow dryer and it felt so heavy. It has been so great on my shoulder when you do blowouts on Rapunzel with two feet long hair. It is so nice to have a really, really lightweight blow dryer. It is just as powerful as my other one. It certainly feels like it gets hair dried just as fast. It also comes with this really cool, I should have brought it, I left it at the salon, I just put this in the bag to bring home. It comes with this little like weighted stand, like has it's weighted, it's heavy, and this goes right in it, and it doesn't move. So it's got a nice place to be held because... A lot of the times you stick these in a, in a, you know, hole in your station and 
not having a handle. I don't know. It comes with a stand and I use the stand and it looks cute on my on my station. My only thing I would probably say that I'm not totally obsessed with is it does not have a cool shot button. It does have a cool switch so you could be blow drying on high switch to cool really quick and then but it's not I never do um so the people that really do blowouts and then hit it with the cool shot and like let those curls go that may be a deal breaker for you I didn't realize when I bought it that it doesn't have a cool shot button I don't see why they couldn't just put one right here um just to press to cool it down but it came with a concentrator I believe two concentrators a diffuser and then one of those like picks like a like an attachment that has a comb on it for more textured hair and I really like them all and even this it doesn't slide on and off it like snaps in so you have to like turn it and snap it out so you don't have to worry about it flying or like bonking your client in the head if it's not on there real good because we've all had that happen let me get this back on oh got it <laughs> okay um so yeah, if you have never tried this and you are a barrel holder as well, I would highly recommend the Blowout Stylus. I shop at State Beauty Supply RDA. They did not have it in store. I had to order it out of their catalog and they had it delivered. Um, but I got it on sale and I believe I paid like $109 for it on sale. So it's decently priced as well. And I freaking love this thing. I guess another annoying thing is sometimes since it doesn't have this handle to like direct the cord sometimes as I'm blow drying the cord kind of gets in the way but then what I do is I just wrap it around my arm once and then that cord stays tucked away and it's not like getting caught on the chair or whacking them or anything like that so that's just a little tip if you do pick this up that you can do that okay and then I have three main styling tools that I use. I have a few other smaller curling irons and like wavers and stuff, but I very, very rarely use them. So I have one flat iron and two curling irons of different sizes. So my flat iron that I use and love, it I know it looks like it's like from the 80s. It is from 2011 and is getting very old and I shouldn't even say this out loud because I don't want it to happen but it is probably on its last leg. I have never had a flat iron last, last this long but this is the GHD Platinum, GHD Platinum Styler. Um, so it is their most expensive iron. It's about $260 um, but I've had it for seven years. I use it on clients behind the chair all the time. I have so much hair and I straighten my hair with it all the time and this thing has held up through it all. Um, I've definitely dropped it and it's done good. We're starting to get a little bit chipped at the plate so it is going to be time to retire this guy soon but I just love it so much I don't want to. Um, my favorite thing about this iron is it does not have a temperature gauge. That freaks some people out at first, but it has technology inside the plates. There's three sensors on each plate inside that detect how much heat is passing through your hair from one plate to the other, and it adjusts the temperature automatically. So it is like literally impossible to burn your hair with this iron because for super thin fine hair that heat passes through and it lowers the temperature for hair as thick as mine it goes through it realizes not a whole lot of heat is passing through so it ups the temperature so for that reason alone I love this I never have to worry about singeing too much I mean I always still use a heat protectant just to be safe but I believe it keeps it at 375 I did a blog post I don't remember the exact constant temperature it keeps it at but um it doesn't let thin hair get overheated and it is strong enough to work through really coarse textured hair um the new one I know has a different hinge it has like a u-shaped hinge which is really nice um and it's supposed to be really ergonomic so it doesn't like come at an angle it kind of comes in straight and presses straight and that's really nice. Um, certainly, when the sad day comes that this little lady poops out, I will be getting another GHD Platinum because this is the best flat iron, flat iron I have ever used, hands down. If you're in the market for a new flat iron, this is a good one. I'll leave everything that I talked about talk about today linked in the description bar down below too. All right, and then I got two curling irons. Um, I have a one inch, which is for some of my really short bobs that um, I need this small of a barrel on. On most of my clients, I don't enjoy quite this small of a barrel. If it's like prom hair or wedding hair and I really want a tight curl, I will use this. This is the Bioionic brand. 
I have nothing bad to say about it. It's very inexpensive, still a professional brand, all ceramic. It's nice, it's got a digital um, screen and it tells you the temperature and it's wonderful. I like this, but my favorite size iron is one and a quarter inch. I use this on almost everybody. I use this on my hair, that's how I created these waves. I even use this on some of my bobs, for sure a lob that wants to be super textured love one and a quarter inch iron. This is Hot Tools. I also like Bioionic. I really like Babless, um, but the main issue, the main thing is you want one and a quarter inch. I feel like that is the ideal size for almost every single hair length. Um, it gives you a nice, either a really pretty wave or a curl and really love one and a quarter inch. This, like I said, is Hot Tools. It's got an on off switch and a temperature dial. It goes up to four um yeah and so that concludes that so if I were a stylist first starting out or if you're leaving a commission salon and going booth rental and you need to start with all your own tools that's what I would say is a good wet brush a round brush probably two round brushes a big one and a small one at least I have four but to start out a couple of round brushes a good blow dryer a flat iron and maybe two size curling irons and honestly that can get me through almost any client that I need. So I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some ideas. If you guys purchase any of these tools and you like them, let me know. I love to talk about things like this. I could talk about hair and tools all day long. So feel free to message me on Instagram. And if you guys have any other requests, let me know down below. As always, there will be a blog um, that kind of goes with this video as well. I will leave that down in the description bar down below. You can subscribe to my blog when you get on there so that you get emailed every time I post a new blog post. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, I would love to have you click that red button down below um, and also click that little notification bell next to it. That just notifies you every time I post a new video, which I do once a week. And I would love to have you here along with me on my journey. And one more time, thank you so much for watching. I am so very grateful for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.